Good morning, Ephrata. Today is February the 24th. My name is David. I'm Jenkins. Please rise for Mona Sansa to place the flag. Attention, Effort of Seniors. The 2017 Effort of National Bank Trust Scholarships are now available on the EMB website. An application tip sheet and tutorial video are available on the scholarship group on Schoology. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. How do we do with our boots and flannel? Now for our last Ag Trivia of the Day. Did you know that U.S. farm programs typically cost each American just pennies per meal and account for less than one half percent of the, of the total U.S. budget? Congratulations to sophomore Captain Woodcraft and junior Tyler Walton for finding the FFA tractor on Thursday. One was by the printer on the second floor and the other one was outside the athletic office. Captain received a $5 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts and Tyler a $5 gift card to Wawa. The two tractors will be hidden today for the last time. So be on the lookout again. If you find a tractor, take it to Room 316 and claim your gift card. Thank you for everyone who's participating in our National FFA Week. Since it's, it is the last day of National FFA Week, we would like to sum it up by saying thank you to everyone for participating. Yesterday, several brave souls completed in the Cloister FFA Chapters Public Speaking Contests. After several weeks of preparation, they finally got their, strut, their stuff in front of a panel of four judges in addition to last year's National Creed speaker, Joel Potts. Contestants competing in both Creed and ex well, Experience Speaking for Creed freshman contestants had to memorize the five Paragraph creed, as well as answer three questions about its meaning, even one asking about embargoes. The scores were very close, but the final results were as follows: fifth place, Carla Bollinger; in fourth place, Abby Cockle; in third place, Hannah Menark; in second place, Laureen Gardet Flores; and finally, in first place, Maxie Barnet. Maxie will receive a fifty dollar, fifty dollars for her first place finish. For the extra, extra, expertious speaking, sophomore Destiny Ovenson had to prepare a four to six minute speech on sustainable agriculture practices for only 30 minutes to prepare and then answer five minutes of questions about her speech. Due to the challenging nature of the contest, she was the only participant in this category. All six speakers will be moving on to the county level competition on March 7th. So if you see them, see them be sure to wish them luck. Congratulations again all the participants. Pay your fines and help kids with cancer. February 21st and March 10th, the Media Center will be donating all the collected fines to the Four Diamonds Fund. Be a hero. The yearbook committee is asking for seniors to send in old photos for the class throwback page. Anything toddler years up to last year is acceptable. Please scan them ahead of time and send, send them to Mrs. Chinchok, Mr. Bischoff, or contact Micey Bang or Anna P. Now we're David with lunch. Today for lunch we have the Mountaineer Double Cheeseburger, pork egg roll with teriyaki, chicken with rice, buffalo chicken flatbread, PB&J Uncrustable, chicken Caesar salad, steamed broccoli with cheese, fresh cauliflower dip, Roasted baby carrots, applesauce, fresh fruit, or a slushy. Now over to Carl with sports. I'm living in that 21st century, doing something mean to it. Do it better than anybody you ever seen. Do it. Screams from the haters, got a nice ring to it. Attention to all athletes who plan on comp competing on the spring track and field team. There will be a preseason team meeting on Monday, February 27th at 2.45 p.m. in the high school cafeteria. Please plan on attending that meeting. There is a mandatory girls lacrosse player parent meeting that will be held on the high school at Tuesday, February 28th at 7, 7 o'clock. Attention all 9th grade PE1 students. You will need headphones for class today. Last night, the boys basketball team lost our district playoff game to Hershey. It was a tough loss, but huge congratulations on the great season. That's it for sports. Now back to the main desk. Attention, members of the Botic Club. Please keep checking your Schoology account so you can keep up in communication regarding upcoming meetings and dates. As of now, we plan on having meetings on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday of next week. But please keep checking Schoology for updates. Attention juniors, if you have not already done so, please fill out the survey about the financial literacy form. Last Thursday that was sent to you via Schoology by Mr. Kishbaugh, 
Please complete the survey by Friday at 3 p.m. Thank you for your help. Pi Day. On March 14th, during lunches in the cafeteria, there will be teachers participating in Pi Day. Students can pay $1 to throw pie from two Pi feet away, $3 for Pi feet away, and $5 to walk up with Pi in the teacher's face. The teachers participating will be an A lunch, Del Piano, Mike Wanger, Christopher Miller, Le Piccolo, Geyer, and Galen, B lunch, Bauer, Fritz, Kellogg, Kitchball, Veland, Bochelle, and Ross, and C lunch, Buck, O'Donnell, Cirillo, and Marzoc. That's it for us today. Have a great day, Ephrata. When I'm feeling lonely, sad as I can be, all by myself in uncharted island in an endless sea. What makes me happy fills me up with glee. Those bones in my jaw that don't have a flaw My shiny teeth and me My shiny teeth that twinkle Just like the stars in space My shiny teeth that sparkle Adding beauty to my face My shiny teeth that glisten Just like a Christmas tree You know they walk a mile just to see me smile Woo! My shiny teeth and me Yes, they're all so perfect, so white and pearly. Brush, gargle, rinse.